Uh, hello, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Nader al Bastaki from University of Bahrain, and I'll be talking about uh, how to use console to model uh, a transient mass transfer, diffusion mass transfer, in a 3D block. This is part of a mass transfer uh, course. Uh, the students have already covered the theoretical material uh, in the class. And uh, uh, will be required to uh, develop uh, a model and console. So when we start the console, we have version three here. You will have this uh, uh, screen, and we have these three icons. To start with, we want to select the model wizard. To click on model wizard, then we get a selection of uh, space dimensions. We will select a 3D geometry, uh, click on it, and then you have a selection of physics, and as you can see, we have a number of choices. We work on chemical species transport. Uh, there are many other choices, fluid flow, heat transfer, and so on. So click on uh, chemical species transport, we will select the transport of diluted species. You can see after double clicking that the selection has been successfully made down here. Then click on study. Uh, we have uh, two choices here, a stationary or steady state and a transient or time dependent choices, so we select the time dependent. Click on that, double click, and you find that that selection has been successfully made. Then click on done. That will take you to the start of the simulation. Uh, the label here, you can change it if you wish. Let's keep it as uh, it is, geometry one. First thing to do is to define our block so the units are already in meters here, but you can change them if you want. Uh, let's keep it at meters. Go to geometry, right click, geometry in here, and select a block. Then go to, we have to define the dimensions. Let's keep the width at one meters. The depth, let's make it 0 0.6 meters. And the height, make it 0 0.1 meters. As you can see, nothing appears. So first you need to click on build all objects. Now our geometry has been generated. Next, go to transport of diluted species. First, click on that, and you see that you can. Uh, you have, first of all, number one here, which defines as a label for the whole block. If you click on it, the block is highlighted. The equations that we will use are these two equa equations fix uh, second law for the transient mass transfer and fix first law. And you can see that the velocity or the bulk flow terms are still here. We can suppress the velocity, the velocity terms by removing the click from here. Uh, uh, next, go to uh, transport properties, click on that, and click on one here to highlight the whole block. And then we'll go to the diffusion coefficient and give it a value. The default is 1 times 10 power minus 9. We make it 10 power minus 3 to artificially uh, speed up the diffusion process for the purpose of visualization, as we'll see later. 
let's go to the initial values. Uh, here we have to define the initial concentration in the whole in the block. So highlight, click on one to highlight the whole block. The default initial concentration is zero, so we'll keep it as zero. Uh, then we have to define the boundary conditions. We'll click on transport of diluted species. We'll specify two of the walls, the concentrations of two of the walls. So to do that, right click on transport of diluted species. And you get these choices of boundary conditions. Click on concentration. Now we can select our walls. As you can see, if you move the arrows, different walls can be highlighted. So take this wall, the left wall, click on it. And you can see it has been highlighted now. The color is blue. And we have a number one here that disappeared, which is the label of that wall. Then click on the second wall and get a number two. The second wall. And then we go to species see here to specify concentration. We specify two moles per cubic meters for that for both walls. You can give different values if you wish. But let's uh, give them both the same concentration. Next, we can generate our mesh. Finite element, you divide your uh, space or geometry to small elements. You can select uh, different shapes. The default value in console is that uh, is generated by console is uh, randomly generated triangular meshes or triangular elements. So a mesh of triangular elements. So click on that and then. Uh, we're going to select the cursor and then build all so the mesh has been generated. We already have to start the simulation, but before we do that, we'll define the, the time domain. So, click on step one, time dependent. Uh, the range is from zero, the default is from zero to one, with an increment of 0.1. And we're talking about seconds, of course, you can change the time units. Let's change the maximum time to 60 seconds instead of one second. And we'll keep the time steps to be at 0.1. And finally, click on Compute to start your calculations. As we can see, the calculations have started. OK, it's finished. The results are shown here in a slice form. So a block has been divided into slices in which the concentration distributions are shown. I can see that the maximum is on the wall here. And the value is 2 moles per cubic meters and the minimum is 0.4 in the other corner. This is at a time of 60 seconds. So this diagram does not show you the development uh, the concentration of time just gives you the final value. We can also see a surface plot. Click on this second concentration uh, block here in the results, and we can see the surface plot again. In these two walls, you have the maximum. This is where the boundary conditions are, and the corner is the minimum. If we want to see the an animation of the development of this front from time 0 to 60. Then, console provides you with a player. Click on the player, and now you can see the frames are generated. And we have 
have a new icon that has appeared here, which is player one. Uh, we've seen how the concentration has developed from time zero to 60 seconds. To view that again, click on the player here. And you can see how the concentration has developed a second time. You can see that initially the concentration everywhere was zero, the dark blue. And with time, the solid has diffused to the uh, throughout the block. Thank you very much, and see you another time.